When someone closes a door in your face, all you have to remember is when God allows them to close the door in your face, all God wants you to do is walk up the hall. It's some more doors. You just got to walk up the hall because I can promise you he got a better door that he wants you to go through than the one that got shut in your face. That's a fact. But what happened to people is they stand there beating on the door. Open it back up. We're going to do a write-in campaign. Why are you leaving? I got to have my job. What about my benefits? Hey, stop. The door is closed for a reason. I'm going to curse the door on you going back. You will never be able to get back to who you were. The people who used to help you will not help you. The people who used to be there wouldn't be there. I'm going to shut the door on you going back to being who you were, and you're going to have to grow up and go forward because I have shut the door on going back. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but I'm talking to somebody. When you, when God really has interest in you, he will shut the door on going back. He will close the Red Sea so you can't miss Egypt and go back for the onions and end up with the handcuffs. We remember the onions of Egypt. We forgot we were slaves. You remember the good things about him, but you forgot the hell he took you through. And God says, I'm gonna shut the door. Oh God, I gotta stop and take a minute and forget about you. Cause when I start thinking about shut doors, I have to praise him for all the doors that he shut in my life. Thank you for the friends that rejected me. Thank you for the people that said no. Thank you for the people who walked out of my life. If I'd have stopped there, I would have missed my destiny. But every time you wanted to shut a door, it was because you had something better for me. If you understand what I'm saying, give God a praise right now. Please open it back up. Help me, my family, stop. Go up the hall, man. These people that close doors in your face, they ain't the only door. They ain't the only door. God is the creator of all doors, man. I'm just going to see what else he got for me. We've all had times where something didn't work out. We didn't get the promotion. The loan didn't go through. A relationship didn't make it. We did our best. We prayed. We believed. But the door didn't open. And the scripture says, God opens doors that no man can shut. And he shuts doors that no man can open. Here's the key. God is your doorkeeper. People can't keep you from your purpose. Obstacles can't stop what God has ordained for you. You may feel like you're behind a closed door. In your health, he you can't seem to get well. In your career, you're working hard but not getting ahead. In a relationship, things keep falling through. Stay encouraged. Those closed doors are not permanent. The enemy doesn't control your doors. People don't control your doors. Fear, addiction, depression don't control your doors. And I believe you're about to see some doors that have been closed for a long time suddenly open. You can't explain it, you didn't see it coming, but suddenly your health improves. Suddenly you meet the right person. Suddenly your career takes off. What happened? The doorkeeper stepped in. Get ready for some open doors. Now people may have closed the door, tried to keep you from promotion. How you were raised may have shut the door. You feel like you're at a disadvantage. Forces of darkness may have locked the door tried to keep you from your healing, from your freedom. It's been that way a long time. Feels like the door is not only shut, but it's locked, dead bolted. You need to get your fire back. Closed doors can't stop you. Locked doors cannot keep you from your destiny. It may seem like the door has closed on your dreams. You'll never get into college, never meet the right person, never have that baby. Every circumstance says it's too late. That door is locked. It's never going to open. You need to get ready. God is about to show out in your life. One touch of his favor, one good break, one contract, one healing, meeting one right person will catapult you to a new level. 
What I love is even when we lock the door, even when we let fear, insecurity, intimidation cause us to shrink back, God says, that's no problem for me. Fear can't keep me out. Depression can't stop what I have for you. Limited thinking can't hold me back. God overrides every negative force. You may have locked the door, but it's the right time God is going to come through the door. He's not going to let you miss your destiny. When I came back from college, I worked behind the scenes here at Lakewood doing the television production. I thought that's what I would do the rest of my life. I liked being in the background. I'm naturally more quiet and reserved. But many times, my father tried to get me up to speak. He'd say, Joel, you'd be a great pastor. Why don't you speak for me sometime? I didn't want to get up in front of people. I was afraid and intimidated. I not only shut the door, I made sure it was deadbolted, put a couple chains on it. For 17 years, I made sure that door was securely locked. But when my father went to be with the Lord, God didn't knock on the door to see if I would open it. He didn't ask me for permission. He didn't check to see if it was unlocked. And even though I was still afraid, I felt a strength, a courage, a boldness. It didn't make sense to my mind. How could I step up to speak? I didn't have the training, the experience. Thoughts told me it would never work out. But down in my spirit, I felt this boldness saying, I am strong in the Lord. If God had waited for me to open the door, he'd still be waiting. God is so good even when we close the door, even when we think of all the reasons why it's not going to work out, why we can't step up and lead the department, why we can't get well. At the right time, God's going to come through that door and thrust you into your destiny. Like me, you may have locked some doors because of fear. You feel unqualified, like you don't have the training, the experience, or because of mistakes you've made. Things haven't worked out. Now you've gone years with that door locked, thinking it could never happen. No, your time is coming. God wouldn't have given you that opportunity if you were not well able. The fear may not totally go away, but you're going to feel a boldness rising up. That's the Most High God breathing in your direction. He's about to take you where you can't go on your own. Those doors you locked didn't stop your destiny. God is not going to let fear hold you back. He's not going to let negative words people have spoken over you to keep you locked in. He's not going to let how you were raised what you didn't get to keep you from becoming who you were created to be. And don't be surprised when doors open for you that you tried to keep shut. I didn't think I could do this, but God saw something in me that I couldn't see. God sees potential in you. He sees seeds of greatness that you may not be able to see in yourself. He's going to present you with opportunities that seem way over your head. Don't shrink back. You are well able. He's going to bring divine connections across your path. You thought you would always be seen. You've already shut that door, convinced yourself you'll never meet anyone. God is going to come through the door that you closed and bring someone better than you've ever dreamed. I think about how many times I've closed the door. I didn't think something would work out, and God came through my doubt, through my fear, through what I thought was impossible. You may think you're too old to accomplish your dream. Can I tell you, it's on the way. You think it's too late to start your business. It's on the way. You think you'll never live in that nice house. Last time you tried, it didn't work out. It's on the way. You don't think you'll ever get well. You've learned to live with the sickness. The good news is healing is headed your way. You may have closed the door, but God doesn't hold that against you. He's about to come through the door and do something better than you've ever imagined. You may be in a situation 
where you don't see a way out. It feels like a dead end in your health, your career, a relationship. It's because the door is not there yet. The good news is God is not finished. He's already designed your doors. They're already on your plans. And at the right time, that door is going to suddenly show up. Suddenly things shift in your favor. Suddenly the opposition goes away. When you don't see a way, instead of being discouraged, you need to remind yourself, no person can stop your destiny. No bad break, no sickness, no opposition. When it's your time, God is going to open a door that will thrust you ahead. You're going to look back and say, what I thought was a closed door was really an opportunity for God to show out in my life. I thought it was setting me back, but really it was setting me up to go further than I thought possible.